Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly love messages. These will be from the 23rd until the 29th of February. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, remember, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. I wish I was that magical, um, but there is hope. If you feel like the message isn't resonating, you can do one of two things. You can either hit the notification button and come back another time, check out another tarot reader. There's heaps of amazing tarot readers on here. Alternatively, you can stick around uh, or fast forward to the end where I will do a three card pick a card. You can ask a question of the universe, get some clarity that way. Um, doesn't need to be in relation to the reading. So today we are going to look at your love messages, your feelings, your person's feelings, most likely outcome, romance angel, advice, um, and three card pick a card. Remember, if you do feel like you need a personal reading at any time, please feel free to reach out to me using the information in the description box below. But I really ask that you please read that carefully so we can get you scheduled as soon as possible. All right, love messages for Gemini. Gem in eye. More messages for Gemini, please. 23rd to the 29th. Oh, jumpers. I like it. it. Means that spirit's doing the work for me. Oops. Oh, you wanted me to take that. I don't know why. Okay. Knight of Cups coming through with the Justice. Now, I feel like this is on top of there for some reason. Just the way that it all came out. Another four, please, for Gemini. Gemini, there might be a Libra involved here somewhere. Um, but someone's withholding love here with the four and the four of cups as well. Someone feels like they're missing out. Oh, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, there's lots of stoppages this week, Gemini. What's happening here? Okay, that Knight of Cups energy is separate to the Knight of Pentacles energy, so they're two different people. And then we've got a Queen of Pentacles as well. Great. One more. Ah, beautiful. All right. Beginning of the week, or from, from here, through to the mid all of the week, it's looking a bit sketchy. Towards the end of the week and weekend, we have some really positive stuff. I feel like there's stability kind of returning. There's progress returning. It's a little bit slow still because we're still talking about pentacles. But see how this queen of pentacles is moving towards the mega pentacle. It's like she's gifting this opportunity. So um, I feel like there's forward movement, which is great, and the opportunity for new stable beginnings, which is really good. Let's talk about the bad stuff. <laughs> All right. Someone is kind of withholding um, their love here with the Knight of Cups. There is some sadness around this with the Four of Cups or feeling like there's been a missed opportunity or there could be a missed opportunity. And it's because it, someone that feels like they don't have all of the information, the facts, or they feel like um, it's the right thing to do to hold, to hold back. We're going to clarify this. So tell me about Justice, please. Tell me about the Justice card. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, someone someone has a lot of passion about a situation or a, or a particular subject, but they're trying to be very patient with this situation. And they may feel like withholding their love or withholding that cup is the right thing to do at the moment. They're trying to have patience and not get too fiery about this situation. There's a lot of passion attached here. That This is what they want. They want this new, fiery, um, exciting situation to start but they're they're holding back they're holding back with their cup they're holding back with the seven of pentacles and it's because they're trying to do the right thing here tell me about the four of cups what's the four of cups in reverse oh 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 oh, oh. yep yep again holding back there's all of this is like super slow movement look at all these knights in the in the reading um all of these knights are kind of like stood still you got the Knight of Cups, his cup is stood still. The Knight of Swords, his communication is stood still. The Knight of Pentacles, his stability and progress is stood still. Um, this person is holding back what they really want to say um, with that Knight of Swords. They may be acting a little bit selfishly even. 
I want more in the Four of Cups universe, please. Tell me more about the Four of Cups universe. They may even feel like they've missed out on an opportunity. Why are the cards falling out like this? It's very strange. Okay, Magician and Empress fell out together. Empress in reverse, sorry. So there may be a codependency situation here as well. Um, I feel like this entire reading is so fragmented. It's very confusing. Um, but it's like this person is creating the codependency. That's what they want. It's like it makes it's. Mm. This person feels like they missed the opportunity. And then they're creating a codependency so that they can still stay connected. And that's this narcissisticness. I'm surprised a magician came up in the upright, but it did. Uh, this energy is between these two. These two are you. Uh, okay, I see what's happening. All right, it's all coming clear. Right. There's, there's like three people in this situation. I'm sure that you had three people in your last situation, Gemini, but that's all right. So you've got one person, which I kind of feel like is you guys. You're withholding your cup. You're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to be patient. Then you've got your person who is this Knight of Pentacles or the person that you want to want to be with. They're kind of at a standstill. We haven't read them yet. We're going to read them next. Then in between the two of you, you've got this other person who is just trying to stay relevant, basically, by creating and perpetuating like this codependent tie because they feel like they miss their opportunity. It's very selfish behavior. This person is all about them. They're only thinking about them and what they want and they cannot see anything else. Um, let's talk about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, please. Yeah, they're very burdened. One more. Two coming out again. Okay. This person feels really weak in the situation. Um, they may be kind of burying their head in the sand with the five of cups in reverse, trying to just avoid any emotion. Um, I can... For a lot of you, this person is staying codependent to this one, your other person. And for a lot of you, this is a third party trying to stay codependent to you. It's 50-50. You guys apply it how you need to. But this Knight of Pentacles is like stood still. He, it's like he can't move because he's overburdened. And part of that burden is he feels like there's nothing. He's powerless in this situation with the strength card in reverse. And so because I have no power in this situation, I'm going to bury my head in the sand like an ostrich and pretend if I hide behind my hands, <laughs> then maybe they won't see me. Um, is kind of what's going on there. Look, this is the energies, but I can see there's a clear split here. So with the Queen of Pentacles following on to the Ace of Pentacles here, we're getting some progress at the end of the week, and that's what I really want to focus on. There's some good stuff coming. So tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please. Page of Wands in reverse. Tell me about that page of wands in reverse. Why is it in reverse? I know I'm clarifying clarifiers at the moment, but that's what needs to happen. Wow, page of pentacles in reverse. And again. Okay, so there's a real reluctance to speak, communicate, make any offers. King of cups. Okay. Ooh, okay, I think it's no accident that we've got the King of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. So you may want to match those up because this is you and your person. So this is you and your person. Don't get hung up on the genders, right? But this is kind of what's blocking you, this failure to communicate <laughs> and this refusal to kind of accept and offer apologies on both sides. There's an element of that too. Tell me about, but but it's moving, both, all of this is moving towards Ace of Pentacles, okay? You're, you're kind of all showing up in your feelings, like it's, it's really complex. I feel like I'm peeling an onion. 
Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, please. I'm nearly running out of cards here, guys. World card, beautiful, coming to an end. The drama, because you've got a new beginning. So it's like, it's not the, it's not the end. Yeah, look, it's the end of conflict. The world coming to an end of conflict here um, or, or avoiding conflict, which is what's going on. This is avoiding conflict, trying to just keep the peace. That's ending, okay? That you need to have this conflict. It needs to happen so that you can start this new beginning because this, the Ace of Pentacles is like, okay, yeah, fresh new start, but you've got to close the door first before you can... Open the new one, yeah? Otherwise, you're bringing baggage through the doorway. You don't want to bring baggage through the doorway. That's no good. Um, so you need to have this out. The end of trying to keep the peace. I've got the Ten of Wands on the bottom. Uh, Ten of Swords on the bottom. It, it might hurt, Gemini. Give me more on that word card. Five of Wands in reverse, please. Tell me more about that. Yep, making plans for the future. Deciding what path to take. Yep, letting go of things that don't serve you. Four of Pentacles, one more. Nine of Cups, there it is. Booyah. Wish fulfillment. All right, so this is good. It's almost like, <laughs> it's like instead of just giving me a tower, which would have explained all of this, They've kind of broken it down into all the different elements that you're going to have to go through this weekend to get this Ace of Pentacles and to get this Nine of Cups, okay? This is going to be really important. I think I need a new deck to actually do feelings. Let's pull a new deck because I'm running out of cards and I don't want to... Uh, actually, I'm being called to this one. We are going to use the Golden Universal. I haven't used this guy for a little while. Come on. really been rotating the decks much at all to be honest i'll work on that ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a buckle a bit used. all right let's go into thoughts and feelings please for gemini thoughts and feelings for gemini i'm going to take three for you guys gemini since this is a very complex situation it's a bit of a long read oh we got two okay mm. gemini Look at you guys showing up there and your king of swords. I'm going to protect myself. I'm only going to use my thoughts. I'm not going to use my emotions. There you go, emperor. I'm going to set all the rules and it's got to be structured. And I'm going to have a list. And <laughs> does this sound familiar, Gemini? They're all great things, by the way. And the king of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Be careful of your mental health at the moment with the King of Pentacles in reverse. That can indicate that you are under a lot of pressure and you may be about to crack. Okay, so please be careful of that. With the, with the King of Swords here, I kind of laugh because it came out with the Four of Wands. It's like, I'm, I'm not going to accept. Um, it's almost like, how do I explain it? I'm not going to let my sword down until I'm entirely sure that I'm going to have everything perfectly in exactly the right order that I want it in, which is pretty much what that says as well. Um, I want everything to be perfectly even and stable and balanced. And until I get what I want, my sword is going to stay up. So be aware of that. Um, all right, let's do thoughts and feelings for your other person. Thoughts and feelings for the other person. I'm going to do two. I'm going to do thoughts and feelings for this crazy codependent person um, and I'm going to do thoughts and feelings for this knight of pentacles or your other person so let's start with the codependent person so the third party thoughts and feelings for the third party please okay so they're chasing their own wish fulfillment. They see whoever they're attached to codependently and whoever they're trying to keep this connection alive with as their ultimate wish fulfillment that they missed out on. Yep, look at this. Star card in reverse. They were a bit disappointed. Um, could be dealing with an Aquarius. But yeah, so they... 
they're they're bitter that they missed out. Like they knew they knew what a catch this person was, and they missed their shot. Like that's the way it goes. It's just you can't do anything about it. But they they see. I think that they feel like they're never going to actually find someone as good as them again. And maybe they've realized that too late. All right, let's go into your other person. Thoughts and feelings for the other person. But that kind of gives you some context around why they're being crazy, right? Thoughts and feelings for the other person. I think they're losing hope though as well. That's coming up as well, by the way. And that's why they're trying to gr grasp so tightly now. Because um, they can see hope slipping away. Okay. Death card in reverse. Two of cups in reverse. Two more. Gemini's other person. <laughs> Eight of pentacles in reverse. World card. Okay. Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh, in the upright. Okay. Gemini. I'm not gonna. I'm. Um, I'm gonna give it to you straight. So, look, they're not at the point where they want things to end, but they do know that there needs to be major changes in your relationship. Two of Cups in reverse. There's got to be some. Like, there's got to be a change to the connection because the connection has suffered. Um, probably because of this person or whatever their crazy antics are. And then they know that there's a lot of work and repair to do, a lot of work and repair that both of you are responsible for. But they are prepared to do this, but albeit slowly. They don't want to end the connection. However, this was bookended. So it's like, I don't want to end this connection, but there is some work here to do on our on our connection. Um and improving our relationship and getting us back to two of cups in the upright because this is kind of like the connection fading a little bit right if the if the changes can't be made or the work can't be done then they do realize that there'll be no other option but to end this with the world card so but that's not their first thought it's like if it's like their last resort here at the very end but it is saying that they they know there's some stuff that needs to change. They know that you guys have, you know, got some work to do and that's that's relationships. Let me give you the headlines here, the news flash. Everyone that sees relationships on movies, on soap operas, on TV, whatever it is, right? Sitcoms. We've been conditioned to believe that you get up in the morning, you love your person and you go on your merry way and everything's just great and you have a laugh and, you know, there might be some funny things through the day and that's a relationship. That is not a relationship. Relationships are hard and they take work and you have to show up every day and you get up in the morning, that person gives you the shits and they do, they forget to do something and, you know, you have a bad day at work and the kids are annoying you or whatever it is, you've got all these things flying at you that are adversary and you still have to show up for your person as well. They're hard and you have to choose to be there every day. So don't get fooled by television, print, print, listen to me, how old am I? God, my 40 years is showing print, not print, no one uses print anymore. Um, <laughs> internet, wherever you're getting your media from, that is not real relationships. Do not believe that that is what real relationships are. That is absolutely not what real relationships are. Think back to your parents. Um, think back to um, you know, your aunts and uncles and your grandparents, you know, yeah, they loved each other, but they showed up every day to love each other and they had all the other crap happening as well. Um, we forget those elements. We forget that, you know, the fights that they had or how hard it was or the separations or this and that. They're all normal parts of relationships. Hate to tell you. So this is all normal. Great. There's work to do. There's no denying it. Let's look at, uh, we're going to go actually to most likely outcome here. I don't want to use that deck. I want to use this one. All right. Most likely outcome for... Oops. Most likely outcome for Gemini.
Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, so it looks like you're going to continue to hold that cup back, Gemini. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's almost like um, I'm not going to be the first one to, to offer this, up, you know. So I think that comes with them there. There needs to be change, but there will be change. Death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'll call out the signs in a minute. Two more. Yep, page of cups in reverse. God, just so many communication blocks for the two of you. Oh, and a jumper. Yep. It's almost like you guys don't want to talk about, you might be refusing to kind of talk about or acknowledging how much work needs to be done. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're not wanting to, they're afraid to tell you that they feel like there's work to be done. They might be afraid of how you're going to react here. Um, I don't see this being totally resolved this week, or if it is, it's right at the end of the week, because in terms of the overall outcome, there's still a lot of like this energy through the week. With the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse, repeating these energies here at the top connected to you. Um, this is not connected to this person. This is connected to you. It's like you're also, they're refusing with this Page of Cups. You're refusing with the Four of Cups. One of you needs to put down the cups, man. <laughs> That's what needs to happen. And just speak frankly and openly. I bet you our communication comes up in advice. Advice for Gemini, please. Oh, no. Imagine. Imagine this as I as I say this. The moon in reverse comes out together with the four of wands in the upright. Wow. Thank you, spirit. I'm going to explain that in one second, but it's basically exactly what I just said. In order to get the stability that you're looking for up here, that you're like refusing to put your sword down for until you know you can see that it's all perfect you must actually let the emotions out you must reveal your inner inner secrets your inner fears your inner thoughts feelings everything you've got to let it out it's like a dam that's got to break wow did you guys see that that flew out and it was the nine of cups in the upright Okay, so you do have so much potential here and Spirit's trying to confirm that, saying you can have your happily ever after here with your Four of Wands, with your Wish Fulfillment, your Nine of Cups, but what is over across all of this is the Moon in Reverse. You need to both communicate and you need to communicate with this person and piss them off. Three, please, for advice. Advice for Gemini. Ah, beautiful. Wheel of Fortune. Magician. One more. Oh, I love when the mages come out. It just gives me a little funny feeling inside. Not that funny feeling, but yeah. Ah, all right. Someone's got to give up a friendship. If that is this th three of... Uh, if this is this third party, bye bye. They've got to go, right? That's the advice. This is a, this is about friendship card. This and when it's in reverse, it's like I don't want to be your friend anymore. It's my friendship card. Sorry, this is how I see friendship. Um, but when it's in reverse, it's like I can't be friends with you anymore. That's kind of what the advice is. Whether you do it or not, I don't know. But that's what the advice is because this third party is causing drama. Now, as I said, you can have, Spirit's saying, you can have your Nine of Cups. You can have your wish fulfillment. We've got your back here with the Wheel of Fortune. You can have anything you want. You are the master, creator, magician, manifester. We are supporting you in whatever you want to do. You just have to bring it to life. So you may want to start doing some manifestation techniques, some meditation that are heavily manifested, manifestation orientated. But ultimately, um, you need to be opening up addressing communicating letting the moon out letting the emotions out you may be dealing with a pisces so we do have all signs on the table of course but there is strong libra there is strong aquarius there is strong pisces there is strong 
Scorpio. There is strong Aquarius. Oh no, that's not Aquarius. Aquarius is down here. Uh, that's it. So all signs, but those are very strong. So you may, that may or may not mean something to you. Basically, you have the power, Gemini. Look at this on the bottom of the deck too. Ace of um, Wands, sorry, in the upright. Um, so, yeah, you guys have the power. It's up to you, ultimately. Um, you have, it's, well, it's not entirely up to you, but you have more control in this situation than you think you do. I think that's what it comes down to. All right, let's do a romance angel, please. feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring whatever they may be they're your feelings and no one can tell you how you feel and it's important that you are sharing your feelings again with the communication of the feelings so there's a lot of repression of feelings happening here we can see it in the knight of cups in reverse we see it in the king of swords and the upright um you know the four of four of cups in the upright again with the knight of cups in reverse so the page of cups in reverse the page of pentacles in reverse the page of uh, wands in reverse so there's all of this communication of feelings being stuck and shoved down inside deep inside because of your feelings um so that all needs to come out okay that is your reading for this week. It was very long. Let's do a three-card pick a card. Remember, if you need a personal reading, you can find all of the information, including how to reach me down in the description box below. My only request is that you read it all, you read it carefully, so that you have all the answers before you come to me and ask me a question that's already been covered in the information. I took a long time to read that. I meant to write that, so I ask that you guys read it. All right, let's go. Three-card pick a card. Well, card number one, please. Think of a question you would like answered. It doesn't need to be in relation to this reading. I'm going to select uh, three cards. Card number two, please. Uh, whichever card you're most drawn to is the answer to your question. Card number three. Okay, if you are most drawn to card number one, your answer is be assertive, be clear about what you want, don't be aggressive, set your intentions, be real, set the expectations, walk away, let the other people operate around you, okay? Don't take anyone's crap. If you're most drawn to card number two, your answer is romance. So romance or ro something romantic may improve your situation or move it along quicker. If you're most drawn to card number three, your answer is ask for help from others. Do not be afraid to ask for help. This reading has dragged on, Gemini. I'm so sorry it's been so long. I hope that it does help you, though. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. I read and respond to everybody's comments. So I really look forward to hearing what you have to say. Uh, otherwise, have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.